Hello. Hello. I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and I'm lost. I am. I'm lost. I don't know where I am. But luckily, Matthew Holdsworth is with me. Hello, Matthew. Hi, Richard. I'm not really lost, am I? No, I hope not. No. <laughs> this is the second part of our stroll along the Green Sand Way. It certainly is. In Surrey. Um, just in case you didn't see the first one, where are we? We are now just outside Wooden. Uh, we went to the church before. We are now on the Green Sand Way, on our way towards Westcott. Yes. Just and west of Dorking, really. An interesting... Um, anomaly that we stumbled across. I've never seen one of these. I've often seen people who sell stuff out their garden like um, potatoes and uh, cabbage or eggs. Yes. But there was a lovely little trolley outside somebody's house selling Cake. cakes. Cake and jam. And jam. Mm. And uh, you have a sample here. I have here a nice slice of banana, banana cake. Look, Look at that. that. Good size. Good size. So for the hearty walker, what a brilliant idea. That's a brilliant idea. Yeah. So we are in this wonderful little bit of woodland here mm. with holly and beech all around us on the green sand way, well, heading yeah. west, as you say, and seeing what we see but we're heading towards am i right in thinking some hammer ponds oh uh, yes no i called them hammer ponds in the last one they are actually ornamental lakes but they, oh, right. they okay. used to um dam up the pip rook uh it, there's a there was a big house there called the rookery which has now gone um but there are i think some modern houses in its replacement but the lakes are still there which we'll walk past right um but the pip brook is uh, a stream that starts up in uh, leith hill and uh flows east rather than west okay. and joins up with the mole. <laughs> I've got to pause you there because we <laughs> are navigating <laughs> a lot of uh, wet mud and in fact the lane that we went up said Damp Hurst Lane which um, should have given us an indication really as to what we might expect but it's, it's just a bit boggy. It is a bit boggy and also I've just noticed here, to prove that this is on the green sand way, although it's not green, it is sand. It's very, very sandy. It is very sandy. Mm. And that we should just mention those who haven't followed us on our um, occasional trips along the green sand way, we are sort of doing this walk. We, we will at one point go to Hazelmere. Yes, well we and, started at Leith Hill. Yes, and we're, we're following it because the green sand way is a route a long distance route that follows the belt of green sand yes geological which is just south of the uh of the chalk north downs so leith hill is part of it yes yeah we have green sand down in sussex where i live just uh, north of the south downs yes. there's a, an, another belt of it that goes along so um it is quite we're so lucky i suppose you could say in england that we have such variety of geological um, formations underneath us that yes. that then gives rise uh, to the the buildings, the lay of the land, um, uh, the, the construction materials. You get all these different, you know, oolite limestone over in the Cotswolds, and this We've got that lovely uh, red stone up in Shropshire. Yes, absolutely. Just navigating a bit here. Here we are, just slipping and sliding down here through this quite well-worn channel. You can see that cyclists come down here mountain bikes I presume uh, you wouldn't want to come down here on a penny farthing no. that's for sure uh, but beautiful woodland got a bit of birch I've noticed up ahead and all the others that we have mentioned and isn't it lovely to hear the bird song oh yes it's actually let's just that is nice, and is we are, nice. what I love about uh, the Surrey Hills we're so close to London yes. and you just wouldn't know you wouldn't know and luckily most of the people in London stay in London. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way. It just means that when you do come walking in the Surrey Hills, you have them pretty much to yourself. And it's quite incredible, really, mm. because this is, you know, the South East is so heavily populated. And yet we have so much of this when you get out into the country to ourselves. And yet that's a relatively new thing. It is, oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is an area of outstanding natural beauty. So it has a high level of protection. Um, yeah. It's almost equivalent to a national park, but it's only really been promoted. I think it was celebrating its 50th anniversary. Oh, right. So well, that's, that's what we went to uh, Box Hill. Do you remember the yes. strange art installation? Oh, that was 50 years. That was the 50 it? years. Gosh, I think. Uh, and you only have to go back, what, 60. 100 years, 150 years? and then beyond and mm. these places there have been coppiced woods you would have had the hammer ponds oh, this the was really industrial the yes. uh, 
The Pitbrook, which we might see in a minute, I think I just read, had uh, five or six mills within five miles stretch before it reaches the mole. So oh, right. really very busy indeed for yes. that sort of thing. Because of course this goes east, but uh, the other side of Leith Hill, where we saw the waterfall, that was going west on the Tillingbourne. Right. Which then joins up with the River Way. And so the Tillingbourne is one of the main route, uh, rivers through in, the th Surrey Hills? Through the Surrey Hills, yes, that goes all through Abinger and Shear and places like that. Yes probably saw the Tillingbourne actually when you did the videos with Mark at Shear. That's right we did at Shear, yeah it was uh, sheer good luck to see it. Yeah I thought, yeah, waiting for that joke. <laughs> I I have a love-hate relationship with um, cycling, I, I mean I love to cycle, I don't do enough of it myself but, um, I, and I think this must be great fun for those who enjoy the, the off-road uh, mountain biking on these sort of tracks however you know what I'm gonna say <laughs> is if you're a, if you're a walker and you're on a fairly narrow route like this and uh, half a dozen bikes come down it, yeah, it this can be I mean some some and I'm, I don't want to cast because this is a public arena I don't want to say anything that's gonna get any hatred or anything but some bike uh, cyclists bike cyclists it can be they think they own you get the impression yes it's probably not true and they're mostly uh, uh nice ones but it's, it's it's always the bad eggs that sort of get the spoiler for everyone else yes. yeah is this um rhododendrons on us uh, yeah we've got rhododendrons you can tell we're coming into a um what was a you know like country estate little uh, kind of big house here um, yes. the rhododendrons will have gone rogue yes and, and wild uh, this is probably the rhododendron that's called ponticum it flowers with the purple flower oh is it and it's, it's almost a weed oh because right it will spread and spread everywhere the, the more i mean it's a lovely flower and it looks great but it's not native and no. and nothing grows underneath a rhododendron no that's it, the problem it, well you it. can see how thick it is can't it is you? so it's thick and th th when it's when it spreads into forests then you can have a big issue um st leonard's forest down in horsham they do a lot of time grubbing it out but it loves sandy soil absolutely loves it Matthew, yes, we have come around that uh, big fence yeah. um, and we're coming down now to, I can hear the stream, but before we just get in there, mm. we should just mention the rookery, yes. big house, a little bit further back there, yep. that's no longer there. It was demolished I think back in the 70s and there's a sort of, a, sort of terrace of houses that were built there. It was, um, I can try to remember his name now, Mal is it? Mal Malthouse. Malthouse or Malthus? Malthus, who's the, he was the father of the economists from the 18th century who built, uh, the, built the house there. Right. Uh, and, and then did the ornamental lakes. Where we are here, there used to be two mills working on the... Uh, oh, right. And I think this must be the site, if it isn't the original, but the site of the, of, of the, uh, of the mill. It says mill house, as you say, so it, it doesn't look uh, genuinely as a mill house would look, although it's probably renovated or rebuilt. Renovated, rebuilt, extended, that sort of thing. Um, and you get this wonderful waterfall. Yeah. Oh, that, that'll be the very third waterfall in uh, yes. Surrey. <laughs> third waterfall in Surrey. And um, I mean, it looks absolutely brilliant. On the other side of that, I think, is the channel where you would have the mill run and the wheel yes. as such. And then on the other side of us, we have this absolutely picturesque, beautiful little house. Have a look at this, called Springs and that's not uh, you've got water you've got water either side of it channels yeah. of water you've got water, the mill race on side, one yeah. side and then i guess the overflow of the river and what with the blossom the primroses the daffodils it's just really uh, it's so charming um quintessential quintessential yes i think it is that is if you were to google quintessential yes. english cottage that would come up that would that would be it it's only got one chimney so there's only one room that would have had a traditional fireplace yes which is quite interesting um seeing as it looked like it had two bays but actually no look the rookery Ooh. cottage it goes um it goes further back than than oh. was <laughs> that's old as well or at least yeah. the first half of that is certainly old. so that's that maybe that's a second mill i think it could be maybe that's the second mill because that's you know too big I mean, for a house. If people know, please put it in the comments. Yeah. I'd love to know the answer. I'd love to know. Well, Matthew, we have come to the end. We certainly have of our time allotted. Yep. Uh, on this video, thank you so much. No with, problem at all. With the, what is this? This yellow. This is something. This is something I should know the answer to. Yes, I, I, I clearly ought to, but yeah. I don't. Pretty yellow flower. Pretty yellow flower. We'll We've stick got, with that. Yeah. 
So anyway, thank you for joining us on these two videos. We're going to make a third. I think so, on our uh, walk into Westcott and end up at the church there. Fantastic. So that's uh, three videos from church to church. This is the second one. Join us on the next one. Look forward to seeing you. In the meantime, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, become a patron, all the usual things. And uh, we'll see you then. Thanks, Matthew. No problem at all. See you soon. Best leg forward. Yep. Yeah.